Hello, my name is Doug Goose with Gondry Corporation, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use the Synergy Cross Empire data migration feature to migrate storage from Novell to Windows. So here I have the Synergy management interface up, and I'm going to let's take a look at what we're going to migrate. So here is a Novell volume out here on the network server. So we're going to be migrating the department shares and all the folders and files underneath. Take note of the timestamps that we want to maintain. Also, if we take a look at uh, the permissions that we have, trustees, here we can see the marketing department has rights, the group, and A. Sanders has direct rights. So we want to be able to migrate these. Under the support area, there is a software folder. And if we look at the trustees of this, notice that it has rights to a container. So we need to also take that in consideration and how we will translate the rights for anything in e-directory on an NSS volume that has rights to a container. Uh, and finally, if we look under marketing, I'm going to show you that under the marketing archives, all of these files uh, do not have an owner. The creator of this, the object in e-directory that created all these files has been been deleted therefore if you look under the info there is no owner so I'm going to show you how we can take care of that as well Now we're going to be migrating to the uh, New York City departments folder here so I'm going to close this out and let's go back in and I'm going to click on the data migration wizard and open it up so the first thing we're going to do is create an identity map so to do that what we're going to do is map all the users in e-directory to the matching users in Active Directory. So I'm going to search down into my domain, root of my domain, click Next. And here I have the users in eDirectory, their common name matched to their SAM account name. And click Finished. Then we're going to, uh, I'm going to go in and get all the groups. Same thing, search down to the domain in my forest, and I'm going to bring all the groups in. I'll go ahead and select Next. Once I do that, I want to do a preview on the source path to make sure that we have accounts in eDirectory to translate the rights to in AD. So here I'm going to select the volume out on the network server, and I'm going to browse out to this department share. And I'm just going to drag this over and do a preview path. Now I'll go ahead and expand this out while it's completing. And notice here you can see IT support has, um, uh, IT managers, I'm sorry, has supervisor rights to department shares and that'll translate to full control to the IT managers group in Active Directory. Also, the um, IT support has read file scan rights to this, to these department shares and that will translate to ELR over in AD. Notice I have some warnings, so what I'm going to do is click on this row here and bring all the warning to the top. Here we can see uh, the New York City container, and there's no no group in Active Directory, so we're going to take care of that shortly. And then we also need to accommodate the rights that admin has in a, a e directory, and we're going to assign that to the administrator. So to do that, I'm going to add the entries, these entries that are missing, into the identity map. Let's switch back over to the identity map, and I'm going to browse down under users in Active Directory and I'm going to select the administrator and drag that up so we can translate the admin user in eDirectory to the administrator in AD. I'll do that same thing for the backup proxy uh, user that has rights in eDirectory. Now if I come on down you'll also notice that here S. Edwards does not have a match. So I happen to know that S. Edwards married a guy named Tim's and so that has not been synchronized or updated. So this just to show you how we can map dissimilar objects. So I'm going to browse down into the New York City location in eDirectory. And I'm going to locate Susan Timms. And I'll translate S. Edwards to Susan Timms since I know that's the same person. Here's my New York City container. So what I've done is I've created a group to accommodate that. So if I go back up. New York City. Here's the New York City employees group and I've added the members of everyone that's in the New York City container so that we can translate the rights to this group. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Okay and then let's switch back over to our preview paths and now we'll make sure that 
that we have no unmapped trustees and no unmapped owners. Now, here are the missing owners. Those are the ones that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that do not have an owner in e-directory to map to. For the, uh, and if we look up underneath here, here's the marketing, uh, marketing archives, and there's no target owner. So by default, that would translate to the administrators group, or when we do the migration, we can specify an explicit target. So I'm gonna go ahead now that I've I've got my identity map and I've got all my translations ready for the migration. Next, I'm going to go into the identity, uh, actually, the identity map wizard. I'm sorry. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to cancel out of this. Okay, and I want to switch back to the data migration. And I want to do a, a migrate data and trustees. So I'm going to do a a uh, folder to folder migration. I'm going to select next here and I'm going to add my source in. I'm going to browse out to the department share that I'm going to migrate. And here I'm going to specify my target, which is New York City on the New York City uh, department share. And notice it's empty. I'll go ahead and select OK. Select next. Oh, one thing if you're doing a lot of migrations, you can actually uh, save save this this setting and then import it back in uh, for subsequent uh, migration, especially during a two-phase migration. Here I'm going to just take the defaults here. You have the option to skip open files um, in case you don't have everybody logged out or for large data sets. Uh, you can skip those files and then come back and pick those, pick those up later. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to assume that everybody's logged out and we're just going to do a, a simple migration showing you how we can migrate these files and translate the rights. So here I'm going to select next. I'm going to select to use the identity map. Here's where I can specify the explicit owner. So I'm going to browse out and select a, an object. By default it would translate to the administrators group, but if I wanted to assign it to a, a different, uh, different object, for example, uh, I'm going to select risk management to show you so we'll be able to see it that take place. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this in so all the files that have missing owners will also be assigned to risk management under the marketing archives. I'm going to go ahead and take the default for the transfer rights and ownership and trustees. Select next. Here I have the option to use a copy filter. If I, if I selected that then I could actually go in and do an ignore on certain files like uh, mp3s or temp files during the migration. So I'm going to hit cancel that. I just wanted to show you that there's an option. Here now I'm going to select validate. When I select validate it verifies that we can connect out to the, the source uh, server and volume and verifies that we can also connect to the target uh, location. Next I'm going to click migrate. Now, now this is going to get queued up into the Synergy engine. If I go to pending events, you'll notice that the files are now being migrated. Um, and so in a second, this will complete and we'll go out and take a look at uh, the files that were migrated. I'm going to select refresh. I don't have a lot for the purposes of the demo. So um, if I go back out now, and let's take a look at where we migrated these files to. New York City departments. Here we'll see now we have the marketing departments. Notice that we've translated all the timestamps uh, for for these files, um, date modified, last uh, ac last access timestamps, all the metadata that's assigned to those. Let's take a look at the trustees, and recall that here's the uh, marketing department we translated the rights to. Here's Adam Sanders who had direct rights we translated that, and then it is this this particular um, is is inheriting rights from from a parent folder for these other ones. Also, if we go into the marketing archives here, let's just select one of these files and we'll look at the, the owner, advanced. Here's risk management got assigned to all the folders and files that did not have an owner in this location. And then finally, down under support, remember we translated the, the look under properties here and we recall that we translated the container to the New York City employees group. So this shows how we, we made that translation of the rights for that. 
So this, this shows you how you can use the Synergy Cross Empire Data Migration um, to migrate all your data from Novell to Windows. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.